I'm sure many of you know the minimum wage in Kansas. It is currently set at $7.25 an hour, but according to the Sentinel, there have been a bill proposing a raise to $15 an hour. That is more than any other state, which is currently at $11.50 in Washington. This high of minimum wage will only inflate the economy even more than it already is. So, even if you guys believe the minimum wage should be raised, I believe I can persuade you otherwise. Many, okay, many of us are going to be college kids. How many of you guys are going to college? Okay, so most of us will be broke college kids and want to be want to get paid more to do hardly any work. Sounds great. Fifteen dollars an hour to do hardly anything is ideal for most of us. I will make you guys believe that the Kansas minimum wage should remain the same. I will tell you why we don't need a higher minimum wage in California and how raising the minimum wage hardens the economy. First, let's start off with why Kansas doesn't need a higher minimum wage. Many of you may not know that paying people more to do less will harm the economy. People who work hard for less will just switch jobs to make more. And the job they were previously at will have to be paid more. Companies will have to char start charging more for products, and people will have to start paying more on taxes. According to minimum wage ProCon.org, minimum wage would cause a severe strike, I mean, an increase in unemployment rates. Just a 9% a increase as a 9% increase has been seen in the price of goods for states raise their minimum wage. Just a three dollar an hour raise minimum wage can cost five hundred thousand unemployed people. That's only a three dollar an hour raise. Imagine doubling the Kansas minimum wage. That would be fifteen dollars an hour. Now that I've shown you some of the effects of raising the minimum wage, I'm going to tell you why Kansas doesn't need a higher minimum wage than California. California's minimum wage is currently set at $11 an hour, and ours is currently set at $7.25 an hour. And there's a reason for that. It's way more expensive to live in California. This just shows the minimum, different minimum wages across the states. Kansas is $7.25, California $11, Washington is $11.50, it's the highest one. The cost of living in Kansas is nearly half of that in California. The cost of living in California is at 168.6 on a scale of 100, and in Kansas it's a 90 meaning that California is 68% higher than the average across the United States, and Kansas is 10% lower. The cost of a house in Kansas is roughly $160,000 on average, and in California is well over $400,000 as of this year. Rent is around $1,300 a month in California, and it is around $800 in Kansas. With all, with all, with all this information in mind, why does Kansas need a higher minimum wage in California? It doesn't make any sense because California is way more expensive to live in. Now that I've talked about why Kansas doesn't need a higher minimum wage in California, I'm going to show you some of the negative effects raising minimum wage has on the economy. Raising the minimum wage can seriously harm the economy. People think that by paying people more, it has to help people out, but it actually raises unemployment and um, companies can't afford to keep workers, so they have to fire a lot of them. Workers get less hours as because of it, and they get paid less. Companies have to raise the price of goods now because they can't afford to keep all their workers, so they have to make money somehow. According to Minimum Wage Pro Con, raising the minimum wage can increase the price of houses, making it harder for them to find a place to live, even though you're not supposed to live off the minimum wage. Also, increasing the minimum wage decreases employee benefits and raises the taxes they pay. After reviewing all this, it seems that raising the minimum wage doesn't actually help anyone out. It doesn't help the businesses because they have to fire a lot of workers and many of them have to shut down. And it doesn't help out uh, the employees because they end up getting less hours and a lot of them get fired. Through the speech, I've told you why Kansas doesn't need minimum, raise the minimum wage, why we don't need a higher minimum wage in California, and I've shown you the negative effects of raising the minimum wage has on the economy. If you ever get the chance, to vote on raising minimum wage, make sure you vote to keep it the same. Hopefully, now you now believe raising minimum wage can help 
hurt the economy. Thank you. Nine eighteen. Five oh six. Five oh five.